started off well at UNCG, you know, played one of the best games we played all season, and then I think we let fatigue get to us a little bit at Elon, and uh, we just got to learn to push through that. But I think overall it was a good weekend, a good learning experience, even with that loss, but I think it'll be something that'll help us. It's going to be a busy weekend for us. Um, you know, I think we average playing Georgia Southern like four times a year now, but um, that'll be a good game to start, one that we definitely are confident going into. Um, we know Davidson is at the top of the conference, so that's going to be a tough game, but we're excited about all the kids being here. You know, they bring tons of energy to the Ramsey, so it'll be a good game. It will be an early game, so we kind of got to get ourselves going a little bit earlier that morning, but we're excited. You kind of talking about the kids. We want to reiterate it's Education Day on Monday. It's always a fun thing here at Western Carolina host Education Day. and You know, the kids are excited to be out of class, but also to see a collegiate a basketball game so what's that mean for you guys I know you love fans and you mm -hmm. love the noise so to have you know almost a thousand kids in the gym it's one of the best games of the season you know they make you feel like superstars they're so excited to see you they don't care what the score is they're gonna be loud no matter what so as far as energy goes that's gonna be a big help for us Hannah and Rena are two of our best leaders they have been since the season started um, we kind of go as they go so this is something we see them do in practice every day, and so for them to be doing it in the game is nothing unusual for us, but it's greatly appreciated, you know. Um, Rena and Hannah really stepped up at UNCG, and I think that was the energy that we needed and the push um, to get the win. I think a difference between some of the teams we've seen in previous years and this year is your guys' scoring mentality um, and, you know, being able to be in the games and being able to compete and so what's that been for you this year to you know to be able to have these great performances and um, a lot of times coming out on the positive side it makes things a lot easier as far as offense you know we're constantly pushing the ball up the court and something that you know we've tried to do in previous years and this has been our best year so far um, but it gives you a lot of energy when you get those easy baskets and transition and it really helps I know for a shooter like me to get you in the flow you don't have to force things as much so it's been really helpful. You've got uh, your senior Shauna Terry two blocks away from breaking the blocks record so how much fun has that been this so far this year to kind of see those blocks tick off and, and know somebody is chasing something that will be in the record books for a little while at least because right. you, you know real records are made to be broken. Um, it's been a lot of fun you know Shauna has been working on this record for four years now so but we we knew at the beginning of the season that she was going to get it it's just a matter of when and um but we're really excited to watch her break it well a couple of fun questions uh you guys had a long weekend uh out of town this past weekend what do you, what do you guys do for weekends where there's a lot of do downtime how do you get over that what do we do like on the road we sleep a lot. We like to catch up on our sleep. Um, it's just a good chance for us to hang out together away from campus in the hotel. You know, we have fun doing absolutely nothing. So just to have all of us together and not have to worry about school or anything like that is always a lot of fun. You know, it's always fun to be in the hotel and then you kind of switch on to some show you just kind of latch on to. Was there something that you guys have Every once in a while you'll be like, oh, i got to finish watching this before we have to leave or any fun stuff like that. Quite a few of us are obsessed with uh, Law & Order SVU, so that's how I got hooked on it. It was actually a road game a couple years ago, so usually if that's on, that's what our TV is going to be turned to. Because it's always on, right? It's always on. <laughs> one last question. What, uh, what's one of the favorite foods you like to eat on the road and maybe a favorite drink you like to have on the road? We get pretty accustomed to having different types of pasta on the road, so um, as far as drink, we usually have to stick with the water, so <laughs> unless you can sneak something in the hotel, but um, we're excited to get off campus and get to restaurants and different places to eat, so we always get excited about that. I think there's a fun story I want to close out with. You guys always have, uh, you, you get stuck in your ways, I think, and so when our trip for up to UNCG and Elon, I think you let assistant coach Tim Wilson know that you weren't leaving there without a trip to IHOP. <laughs> you look forward to places like that. You get accustomed to when you go to Elon, you eat at IHOP, and that wasn't on the schedule originally, so I think we had to let Tim know that that was part of our routine, but I think he figured it out. <laughs>